channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be another trader joe's grocery haul so my previous fall trader joe's haul you guys really enjoyed so i thought i would do another one for you guys i don't go that often because it is pretty far from my house it's about 30 40 minutes but i did go with my friend again to trader joe's and i picked up quite a few things a lot of these things are holiday themed like christmas so i want to share with you guys everything that i purchased and just a quick disclaimer, this isn't a grocery haul with my staples. I do my staple grocery haul at Whole Foods and also Kroger. This is just like a fun Trader Joe's haul, just to let you guys know. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with all of like the cold and frozen things. So the first thing is going to be this cauliflower gnocchi. I previously picked this up for the first time and I was obsessed. It tastes so good. So I went ahead and picked up another bag of that. And then I decided to go ahead and pick up the sweet potato gnocchi. Since I love the regular one so much, I figured I would go ahead and try out the sweet potato one. Talking about sweet potatoes, I just picked up some sweet potato fries. I can go ahead and throw like in the oven or in the air fryer for like a quick side. I also picked up the mandarin orange chicken again. My previous haul, I did show you guys this and it was my first time trying it and we made it. I loved it. So I grabbed this, this is just like a quick dinner. So I also picked up this cauliflower dish and it's cauliflower baked in a creamy cheese sauce topped with Parmesan herbed breadcrumbs. So that sounded and it looked really good. So I picked that up. So I also picked up for a quick lunch, this French style flatbread and it just sounded and it looked so good. I loved caramelized onions and it has that on this pizza. So I'm really excited to try this out. I also got this green goddess salad dressing. It has avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. So we'll see how that tastes. It just sounded really good as well. So I decided to grab that because I love salads. Then I grabbed this bacon wrapped date stuffed with goat cheese. I love bacon wrapped dates, but I've never had it with goat cheese. And this is a great little like appetizer. So just grabs that. I grabbed some more of the organic jasmine rice. I also grabbed the brown rice, but I guess I left it in the freezer, but they have a brown rice that I also grabbed as well. And this comes with um, three bags and you just microwave it and it's a really good side. And then I wanna try this. This is the organic buffalo style hummus. I love hummus and I love buffalo. So we're gonna see if that tastes good. Let me know if you guys have ever tried a buffalo hummus. I've never tried it, but it sounded interesting. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed some spicy California rolls for lunch tomorrow. I was going to eat it for lunch today, but then me and my friend decided to go out for lunch. So I'm going to be eating this for lunch tomorrow. Then I bought this barbecue cut salmon. It's a boneless filet. So one of the fitness girls I follow on YouTube, she's always raving about this barbecue cut salmon. So I want to go ahead and try that out. Now everything else is pretty much going to be like junk food and snacks. So, and a lot of this stuff is Christmas themed. So this is a mini chocolate mousse present rich chocolate cake. And I thought my husband would love this. He loves like mousse and chocolate and brownies and all that. So I grabbed this for him. And then for the kids, the kids love like hot chocolate and Ryan has been wanting um, candy canes in his hot chocolate. So I thought this would be really cute. They are mini marshmallows, but they are peppermint flavored. So I thought those peppermint little marshmallows would go really good in their hot chocolate. I also really love gummies. So I grabbed these gummies. I said in my head I grabbed it for the kids, but secretly it's for me too. And this is just some soft and chewy gummy candy and they're just in holiday shape. So there's like Christmas trees and stars and I think like an ornament. So I just grabbed a bag of that. I also grabbed this peppermint bark popcorn. I've heard a few people say that this is really good. So I grabbed a bag of that as and well. I also decided to get this dark chocolate little treat. My friend that I went to Trader Joe's with said that it's really good. So I'm gonna try this out. Um, I also got this almond, cashew, and macadamia nut beverage. This is the unsweetened one. I usually just get like almond milk, but I want to try this one out. It looked interesting and it says it's lactose-free, soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, and vegan. So we'll see how that tastes. And then I got some TJ's Organic Kansas City Style Barbecue Sauce. 
I love barbecue sauce and a lot of times I like to marinate like my meats in it during the day and then cook it for dinner. So planning on marinating my chicken in this for um, one night for dinner and seeing how that turns out. This also sounded really good and this is black truffled Alfredo pasta sauce and that just sounded really good and I love Alfredo so I grabbed that as well. Next, I also got these milk chocolate smashing s'mores. I love s'mores, so this is something else that I said I bought for the kids, but secretly I'm probably gonna eat half the container, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed some seasonings. We needed um, some more garlic powder and onion salt, so I grabbed just the Trader Joe's brand onion salt and also garlic pepper or garlic powder. And then, I've never tried this, but I thought we'd try it, and it's just the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning blend. So I grabbed that one as well. And then for the kids, I got these low-fat yogurt strawberry smoothies. They love smoothies, they love yogurt. So I grabbed that for them. I also grabbed two bars for myself. I love these Go Macro macro bars. I just wish they were so expensive. But this one, I've never had this one. This one is the banana and almond butter. So I decided to grab this one and it's just like a protein bar. And then I also really love the um, one brand of bar. And I've never had this one either. It says it's a seasonal flavor and it's iced gingerbread. So we're gonna try that one out as well and see how that is. I also got some hot cocoa cereal for the kids. So it's just basically like chocolate Cheerios with mini marshmallows. They won't be having this for breakfast, but they can have it like as a sweet treat. And to go with the hummus or just like some cheese, I got these baked crisps and they're like cheese crackers and they looked and sounded good as well. I also decided to pick up these mini gingerbread men. I'm not a big gingerbread cookie person, but my husband likes them and the kids do too. And these are, I think one side is frosted. I'm not sure if the whole cookie is frosted, but they're just like little gingerbread um, men cookies. So I got that for the kids and my husband. And then I wanted to make some banana bread. It's been so cold out. So I thought this would be a really good like treat. So it's just a Trader Joe's banana bread mix. And I'll probably make this um, tomorrow. And then the last three things I got are not food items. They're just like random things that I grabbed. So I grabbed this for my guest bathroom. It is the Trader Joe's peppermint foaming hand soap. And then for myself, I got this rose water facial toner. So I love rose scented anything. So I got this rose um, toner, see how that worked out. And then I decided to try this Trader Joe's Nourish Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. They had a tester and I tested it on the back of my hand and it left my hand so soft and smooth. So I'm super excited to try this out. Hopefully it doesn't break me out because I have super sensitive skin. But I'm really um, excited to try this out. So I'll let you guys know how it works out. Or if you guys have already tried it, let me know how it works and if it made you break out or anything. But we'll be testing this out tonight. All right, guys. So that is going to end my Trader Joe's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe I can start doing this every time I go to Trader Joe's because I'll probably just go once a month since it's so far from my house. So every time I go, maybe I can do a haul for you guys. I was thinking about doing a taste test, but... I don't want to do a taste test by myself, so I'm not going to do one this time around. Maybe next time I can bribe my one of my friends to do it with me and do like a fun taste test for you All guys. Right, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and turn on notification bell if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.